doing today. Courtney with me for it out the cleaning service. Just made it out here to the scrap yard on this beautiful Thursday. It's a nice Thursday. You got the clouds out here. Keeping the sun from over our head, keeping us cool. Man, what makes you so beautiful today? How you guys day going? I hope you guys day is going good. I hope you guys day is going good. Man, cause mine is going well. I weighed in about a thousand pounds. I weighed in about a thousand pounds. So today turned out to be a pretty decent day. I kind of ended early. I had a lot of people running around within the local area that I was at. So I'm like, hey man, you know what? I already have some scrap metal on here. Let's share the wealth. Let's share the wealth of my brothers them. They out here trying to make it happen. I'm done for today. I'm gonna leave, gonna get me a nice haircut. We wanna call it a day, let these guys have the rest of it. I got a nice little load for Thursday. I get back on it Friday, do half a day and call it a day. So yeah, that was pretty much it for me today. But anywho, how you guys day is going? I got some motivational speech I wanna talk about. And I hope it motivates somebody, cause it motivate me, all right? It motivate me. So I was reading this bio. I was reading this bio on the internet about a lady um, that was 56 year old. I don't know if you guys are aware of her, but I give you guys the name, her name at the end. I just want to talk about her story, which is so motivating to me. Uh, because it made me think of perseverance. You know what I mean? Perseverance is something that you do not knowing that it's going to be rewarded, but you do it to persevere so you can be better than where you was before. That's my definition of perseverance. You keep pushing until you get there. Perseverance. There was this lady that was 56 years old. She was 56, all right? She wanted to swim across the Atlantic Ocean. She wanted to swim. I saw you guys might know the story. She wanted to swim across the Atlantic Ocean, all right? She done it several times in several attempts and failed. She failed. She failed several times. She got out there into that frigid water, got out there and tried to swim across the, to the Atlantic, and she failed. She failed. At one time, one time, so many people start hearing about it, they start going out there to watch her swim, okay? They start going out there to watch her swim. The news caught word of it and went out there to film her, all right? So as people were watching her, she got out there and tried to swim and failed. I remember one time they were saying, they was following her and she swam and she came up for air and said, I'm done, just to be an arm reach away from touching the other side of the land. The other side of the land. Now, for most people, they give up. After so many times of trying to reach the other side of something that we're doing, or trying to get to the other side, it gets so hard. So many obstacles, so many things thrown your way. You give up. You know what I mean? The machine ain't working right. The truck ain't cranking up. The trailer ain't pulling right. And so on and so on. The bill people are tripping. We give up. Her perseverance, her believing in herself, went back out there and kept doing it, kept doing it. In the early 60s, she crossed the Atlantic Ocean and became the first woman to cross the Atlantic Ocean. She broke the world record, all right? That's inspiring to me because it took her almost a month to get there. I want you to think about it. How many of us will go a month working hard every day and be dedicated to it and perseverance, let alone even with the stuff that we go through. I'm not a whole bunch of them. I can tell you this, if my truck start acting up, I'm like, I'm done for today. I don't want to do it no more. I give up. You know what I mean? Speaking for myself, she stayed out there almost a month in water. Cold water, high water. She stayed out there almost a month to reach her goal, and she did it. She did it. She crossed and touched the other side of the land. I think she landed, I think she touched land in Trinidad. I could be wrong, but I think it's Trinidad. She did it. She persevered. And that's the motivational speech that I want to talk about today is perseverance. Is that even when things get tough, even when things seem like it's just not gonna work, even when things are hard and it's like it's the end of the world, there's no help, there's no support, there's nobody around to hear the story. You must persevere. We must persevere. We must keep pushing. We must keep this going. We got to. We have to. Have she gave up, she'd have never ever reached her goal. She'd have never ever reached her goal. She'd have never ever touched the other side of the ocean. Have she gave up on herself. She'd have never swam, swam across the Atlantic. Never done it. First in history to do it. The lady name, I'm going to butcher her name because I can't get her last name. Her, left, her last name spelled F-I-G-G-E. I can't really get her last fridge. I'm a freak. I, I can't. But her first name is Jennifer. And 
that's an inspiration to see that someone went out there to follow their heart and they did it. They accomplished that. And you know what? That means a lot to me. For little old me who complained about the truck not cranking up, for little old me who complained about the water bill is due why I can't keep money in my pocket. This woman persevered something major and did it almost in a month time. She stayed in the water until she did it. I'm going to stay in this water until I complete this. I'm going to stay in this water until I'm done. That's my motivational speech to you guys. Stay in the water. Stay in the fight. It's going to get hard. It's going to get tough. But stay in the water. Do not get out until you touch the other side of the land. That's my motivational speech for you guys on Thursday. Let's see what we have on the back of the trailer. Here we go. This is what I have on the back of the trailer. That story there, man, uh, it kind of bring me to tears. It get me a little bit emotional because it's like, hey, this woman could have gave up, man. It just remind me what we complain about every day. Hey, we have no reason to complain about. Um, it just stay into the fight. But anywho, this is what I have on the back of the trailer here. I have a cast iron um, tub right here. This thing is heavy. This thing weighs about three or 400 pounds. I had a hard time getting it off of there. I'm going to have to get a few hands to help me push it off of there. But I got a bicycle, uh, some other little metal around me. Let me see. Some bed rails. I have a um, wheelchair. I have a refrigerator. Uh, that's pretty much it, man. Besides, besides the hot water tank, I got to take my um, I did some grass cutting yesterday. I got to take my little gas can home. Let's walk on the other side here. I think that's pretty much it. I, it's, it's all that's on the back of this trailer. Not much on the back of this trailer. We're going to go ahead and get this stuff offloaded here. And get this stuff onto the ground, and then I'm gonna call it a day and get this check for the day. Here we go. Here we go, everything got floated. I got everything off the trailer. Ah oh, man, I got my little gas can in the back. That's pretty much it. There's everything going on in my neck of the wood. People just offloading their scrap metal. Not much going on on this beautiful Thursday. You know, everybody pretty much just getting they, getting they self offloaded and getting that check and that's pretty much it. And that's what I'm about to do. It's not really much to break down here. Refrigerate a little cord here and there. I'm not gonna even bother you from there for that. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it for me. You guys have a blessed Thursday. And remember, stay in the water. Don't get out. No matter how cold it gets, no matter how, how frigid it is, no matter how high the waves are, keep persevering. Keep persevering, guys. You guys be blessed. I'll catch you guys next week. I won't be filming tomorrow. I'm going to get out and enjoy my day tomorrow. You guys be blessed. I'll catch you on Monday. Peace.